what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna work on the wagon a little bit now we are still waiting for uh, a tune day for this car and in the meantime I figured let's tackle some of the things that I've been wanting to do to this car or actually was on the list to do with this car if you guys are new to the channel I have this Civic wagon right here that I've been working on to um, you know keep it on the road and it's gonna be up for sale soon if you guys haven't seen it there is a playlist of this car from the first day I got it as a shell to its current state of a running car but a quick little refresher a couple of reasons why I got this car one I love EFs right so I'm always trying to save them whenever I can whenever the opportunity is right and the space is available two this car is free to me so I figured you know what let's try to do something with it three I knew I had a lot of parts in the garage to get this thing a running car again and I figured you know what it's gonna help me kind of clean up a lot of the stuff that was in the garage and in the storage in the backyard get them cleared out to make it a running car Four, I thought it would make great content because of, you know, something a little different. You guys know I don't really do single cam stuff, so I figured let's do a single cam build. And by build, I mean it was in stock form and we boosted it. Five, obviously, it's for profit. So this car, once it's all said and done, tuned, ready to rock and roll, I'm going to sell it. When this car does go up for sale, I am trying to sell it to somebody who can appreciate the Civic Wagon. I'm also wanting to sell it to somebody who's not going to take it apart. This is meant to be a sleeper, a fun little daily commuter, uh, something to pick up your kids in, something to keep up on the freeway. You know what I mean? Like a stock Sion Cam Turbo. If I was doing anything that was meant for making over 200 horsepower, I would have just planted a B-Series in it or something. Not saying that a single cam turbo is not going to make 200 horsepower, but that's not the goal with this car. Again, if you guys want to see the stages of this Civic Wagon from the day I got it to its current state, go in the description below and click on the playlist. There are plenty of videos in there to show you everything that I've done to this car and a lot of it being in segments so you guys can get an understanding of all of the things that was done to this car. So the other day, I had slapped on the brand new tires on the wagon we have brand new federal super steel 595 tires big shout out to Joaquin these are literally like 95% no camber whatsoever I did stick the hubcaps back on it to keep it that uh, sleeperish look and again big shout out to Joaquin because now we have tires for this car that the new owner don't have to worry about getting unless you're slamming the car but again that defeats the purpose of the sleeper build you guys remembered i had the overspray on the fenders and the doors i replaced this fender and i polished out the door a little bit to get it to blend because it was a darker brown and in part of the paint stuff i uh i wanted to paint match the bumper because if you guys don't remember i mentioned that the rc four-wheel drive has painted bumpers you can see it right there my brother's car and also on that one right there, painted bumpers. Now the DX, the base model uh, wagon came with black bumpers, which is like the front right here. And because we didn't have the original bumper, I uh, threw on a stock one right here, which is black, and I wanted to get it to be brown. So before I debate on making the front brown or keep it black, I'm gonna start working on the rear bumper. The rear bumper was painted black, although you can still see the cappuccino brown underneath. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be taking off the bumper and I'm going to try to sand all this back out to salvage the cappuccino brown. And, um, and if it's not too bad, I'll, I'll either polish it out or I might even skim a coat of paint on it and then clear coat it. So before I get to working on the wagon rear bumper, I'm going to swap this wheel bearing out for Joaquim. He came by yesterday and we pressed out the uh, bearing for his EG. And uh, what had happened was, what happened? We don't know how it happened. Broken axle, broken transfer case. We were mobbing at 8,500 RPMs and uh, shit just snapped. <laughs> axle snapped, See? transfer case, freaking wheel bearing, all that got destroyed. So we pressed it out yesterday and the wheel bearing that I had right here in the back spares therefore ex um spindles which is a bigger um outer diameter so we went to go buy another one from o'reilly's a national bearing over the master pro all day but we bought the national bearing the dude rung it up brought it over and it was the wrong one so he went back got the correct one this is the two point whatever diameter so it's the smaller one 2.8 and uh, this should fit in here and then we'll press all this back in right now Thank you. 
wagon, everything. Mars telling me yes, but my pockets are telling me no. <laughs> no, just gotta take care of priority first, then, then the pocket will be available. Because who controls the pocket? Couple bolts, a couple nuts, two pieces of plastic that's underneath the car that are covering the bottom hardware, and we got the bumper off. I'm crossing fingers that this is some cheap paint and it's not gonna take a lot of effort to remove it off the cappuccino brown. Uh, you can see down here, it's just flaking off and I'm probably gonna hit this with like, I don't have 800. I would love to do six, but because I have majority of 400, I'm gonna lightly wet sand this with 400 grit. 3M 400 grit. This is a wet or dry. And you know what? I need to find my little soft block so I'm not digging this with my, my fingers. This is a very light coat because I can see the brown through the black. Let's see if this will sand off easy. Okay. <clears throat> that did not take much effort at all. So I have the um, middle sanded down from this end all the way to the other side. I can understand why they painted this thing black. There's a lot of gashes and like pits in the uh, bumper itself. You can see all of the black spots which are low spots because I am sanding with a block and there are a ton of little gashes and pits in here so I started sanding a little deeper to kind of smoothen up whichever ones that I could I think I'm gonna paint this bumper uh, it's funny because this looks like my brother's brown and not the cappuccino I mean like granted this is under the light that's darker but um, regardless we're gonna paint it and uh, I'm using 400 grit to sand off the black I mean I originally used the 400 to try to save the cappuccino brown but uh, it looks like it's gonna need the paint because of all the black pits and I'm not going to a lower grip because I don't want to cut this paint all the way out I want to leave it um, the original color because I want to blend it you know what I mean I want to blend where it's gonna go light to darkish a little bit because the paint that I have is a little bit darker so I kind of want to blend it you're not really gonna notice it because the black on the top molding of the bumper is gonna be the separation from the brown that's on the car. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time to sand this completely off and I might even mask it off and 
Rattle can this tonight. It's like maybe 6.30. I've been sanding for a little while now and I can't feel my hands. So uh, yeah, I have the um, heat gun right here chilling. I was warming this up to kind of get rid of all the water that was still on here. It's nice and dry now. So I also decided to sand down the top half of the bumper, the black molding part of it. Uh, it looked like it was spray painted as well and at one point there was a pinstripe. You can kind of still see it right there and um, I was like, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sand it, I might as well. So I've always seen this on Honda Tech, you know, other people doing it on Facebook and stuff like that, refreshing the OEM original like plastic black bumper um, with a heat gun or a torch. This right here is with the heat gun. I just held it there for about five seconds and it freaking started looking fresh again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it through the whole top half of the bumper and then we'll mask and paint. Damn, this thing is definitely fresher. Uh, despite all of the gashes and stuff, I didn't do body work on this bumper. I'm not gonna do body work on this bumper, but the black, that fresh black, gives it a fresh feel. You know what I mean? So now, let's go find all my materials to tape this up, and uh, I'm probably gonna do some primer to kinda fill up all of the black spots before we do the brown.
All right, you guys, so we did a little skim coat of primer and we did two coats of base coat, cappuccino brown, and then we did three coats of clear. Now, I did kind of bomb the last one just to kill the can and I messed up. I have some runs right there and a little bit, a little bit, a little bit right here, but not a big deal this isn't a perfect paint job this is just to get the bumpers back to the original color like the rt are supposed to be and right now the paint is tacky i mean it looks good i wasn't supposed to paint the whole bumper but we ended up painting the whole bumper hopefully the brown is not too far off of the brown that's on the car but really can't compare that yet until we wash clean the car and then see how it looks from afar Again, we have the black molding to separate the new brown versus the old brown. Hopefully, it's not noticeable. I'm keeping this video super simple. It is super cold. I was sanding in the dark. I was sanding in the cold, and I am done with the bumper. It's just going to dry overnight. We will install it on the car tomorrow, but you guys are going to have to stick around and see that because I am going to end the video right here, you guys. If you guys enjoy a brief progress update on the budget wagon, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around and see how this bumper looks on the car and the front bumper getting painted or the whole car with painted bumpers, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.